So many of us have seen them as we're scrolling through social media. All the videos and posts about cryptocurrency, the money you could make, and how to break into it. But it can also be easy to get scammed. Let's start with the basics so we're all on the same page. So cryptocurrency is a digital currency that you use to invest or buy goods. Um, and in order to buy uh, or get into cryptocurrency, you have to use your traditional fiat currency, such as the U.S. dollar. FBI forensic accountant Brandon, who's just going by his first name, says there are thousands of different types of cryptocurrencies out there that are not fully regulated just yet, but are generally legal to buy and use in the U.S. In fact, many companies are now accepting cryptocurrency for payments of traditional you know, retail sales uh, or goods and services. Cryptocurrency is growing fast in popularity, and as with anything involving money, there are a lot of people out there who want to steal it. We are seeing a commensurate rise in fraud schemes. Special agent in charge, Karen Ramsey, at the FBI Portland field office, says scammers have reinvented traditional fraud schemes. They include romance scams, lottery scams, where you think you've won but need to pay money first investment scams, and impersonation of a familiar person, company, or organization. So anytime somebody sees a demand for a crypto-only payment, that should immediately cause a red flag to go up. And it can be easy for people to get ripped off, especially with more than 100 cryptocurrency ATMs in the Portland metro area, where people can go and transfer their physical cash electronically to someone halfway around the world. Supervisory Special Agent Gabe Gunderson with Oregon's Cyber Task Force says there's a huge range of loss. You know, it's a, you know, it's a few hundred bucks or a few thousand dollars. Uh, some of the larger ones, you know, well over, well over, uh, seven figures, well over a million dollars. The FBI estimates it receives maybe a thousand reports a year from Oregonians who think they've been scammed into giving their money to a thief by way of cryptocurrency. And they tell me another big thing to look out for? Unsolicited texts, emails, QR codes, and other messages. Remember, there are plenty of legitimate cryptocurrency transactions, websites, and forums, but do the research before you take the dive. And if you think you've been scammed, you can report it at ic3.gov. Christine Pitawanich, KJ24.